have just finished exploring the upper town of Tomb P Hill here in the medieval quarters of Tallinn. And we're just heading down this hill now to take a look around the lower town. And this one is one of the two streets separating between upper town and lower town. It goes away from the upper town and down to the lower town. There are some very narrow alleyways on the way down here, heading through what I think is these fortifications that the old town is famous for, some of them dating back to the 13th century. Up in front of me, I think, is the Spire of St. Nicholas. No doubt about it, there is an incredible atmosphere around here. It really does have the feel of a small market town. Lots going on wherever you look. Pretty sure that that's the Spanish Embassy as we head down towards something called the Long Leg Gate Tower. So the walking tour is just about to finish and it is finishing here in the marketplace right in the centre of Tallinn Old Town and it is a truly magnificent area. I'm just standing underneath the town hall at the moment, I'll show you that on the video in a second. But check out the market square, it is spectacular, especially lit up in the sunlight. It was cloudy first thing, but it really has, the sun has come out nicely now. Look at this. Wow, people eating at the cafes and restaurants and bars. Let's go and see if I can join the atmosphere. This place has got to be one of the best preserved medieval old towns I think I've ever been to. I certainly can't remember coming to a better preserved town from the Middle Ages. It's almost like going back in time here. In many ways though, it is different from where I was this morning, Tomb P Hill. Up there it was built for the nobility of the old town and the houses and buildings are much bigger and grander. Down here, the lower part of the town, I believe, was built for the commoners, as they were called back in the, the day. That's why we've got all of these shops and, and smaller buildings, because it was built more in line with everyday trade. And this marketplace is a, a good example of that. That large building there with the sun behind it is the former town hall. It's now used for ceremonial purposes. just left the walking tour and I'm now heading for St Olaf's Church, the city's largest medieval structure. See if I can get to the top. The church was named after a Norwegian king, King Olaf, and was first documented in the 1200s. Over subsequent years there's been three major fires here caused by lightning strikes, the most recent in 1931. The church stands at around about 120 meters high, that's about 400 feet, and whilst the church itself is free to access, you do have to pay a small fee to climb to the top of the tower, so that's what I'm going to go and do now. <laughs> Oh, this is pretty steep, pretty narrow. So I'm making my way up a stone staircase right to the top of the tower. Some of it is straight like this, but most of it is narrow and circular. Nearly there now. Here we go.
and then I think it's up this ladder. Here we go. Thank you. There we go, easy as that. Pretty high. It's around the other side now. And I don't fall over the metal beams on top here. There's the newer part of the city. And then as I come just around the corner, you should see the old town. There we go. See the Tumpi Hill, some churches and a nice little street that runs right through the heart of the old town going towards the market square. Just getting my bearings. In the center of the shop there is the seaplane museum and harbor. That's where I was on day one. Way, way across the sea is Finland. About a two hour ferry ride. Chimney stack of the old electric power plant and the ferries that travel across to Finland every couple of hours. It has been a terrific day, I'll tell you that. I've very much enjoyed it, exploring Tallinn. The weather can make all the difference. Yesterday it was a bit drab and stormy. Today the sky's been blue since about midday. It's been really nice looking at the old town. So I'm just standing now outside the Three Brothers. Three houses that look very similar in style and architecture. One's white, one's yellow, one's green. There we go, the three brothers of Tallinn. That's it for me. Good night from Tallinn Old Town. Hey.